Sean and Ahmed have departed their homes to seek fresh air here. The lights have been off since morning, a change they are adjusting to, despite their intense hatred for the consequences of intermittent power outages. Sean's day is wasted as his office lights are also off. Today is Monday. I have to get Monday money for me to be able to conquer all the weeks by this today Monday of, of the light around 12. So what do you want us to do? The light that we are managing small, small to, to do some online work, to do some editing, to print some things for people, for us to get some coins, we take the lights. You take our shop, the shop lights too. So now we, we want us to be sitting like this, watching streets. Ahmed lost his refrigerator due to unannounced power outages. This is so no, but they are trying to bring some talking, see, it's, it's, it's a technical fault or some issue. What issue? So right now, I have a lot of things to preach. And I have uh, editing, it's a people waiting for me to print it out for them, you understand? Right now, no lights. That's why I'm here to come and have a fresh air here. Ahmed and Sean's concerns are a reflection of the numerous individuals who express their concerns on social media daily. People have to soak towels to shield their babies from the heat and others sleeping in the open. Sami Osetufo, a trader at Makola, is one of them and is seeking a timetable to prevent potential losses. Nowadays, there'll be too much. At first, now it be okay, but right now, if you go off like two, three days, be way me like this, my soup, my stew, the other stuff we did, my fridge inside, or oh, oh, oh. Just this and they will throw all them away, sick of the light out. Every day before I go get catch house, then the light it go, it day off. So my other stuff to the spot, like my fridge like this, if it go off like three days, four days, they you know they can't sick of the doom so I know they house like this. The fridge guard, you know the job. Sabiru Fashion Anima spends over 200 cities daily on fuel to power his generator, ensuring he meets client deadlines. He could have waited until the lights return, but he believes breaking the trust of confirmed clients will be detrimental to his business. The intermittent power outage is bringing out the emotions in people, and they are really blunt with their complaints. One thing remains key. Anyone that you engage is calling for a timetable to plan their lives accordingly. George Quinn, TV3 News, Nima.